Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how The Flash is addressing Crisis on Infinite Earths, and is creating a new multiverse, and I've seen the trailer for the next week, uh, next episode was just going to come out on the 26th of this month, um, and it's going to like... Spoiler alert, if you guys haven't seen the trailer, features Oliver Queen, which we knew, like, if you guys been following my channel, then we would have, like, you, like, you guys would have known us, like, well, it's me, that they were planning to bring in Oliver Queen, have Steve and Mel reprise his role as Oliver Queen. I hope they do a good job where it doesn't, like, retract from anything they did in the past. So it's going to be like really, really interesting to see how they portray, like, bring back Oliver, if that makes sense. So let's, um, before we get into the, uh, and the, um, article, I have to say, I feel like they should like address the whole new multiverse a bit sooner than they did, in my opinion. That it shouldn't have been addressed only in essentially the Arrow versus final um adventure. It should have been addressed like at the very least last season of uh, of the Flash, if anything. So, that's just me. But at the same time, I'm in the camp where I'm kind of getting tired of all these, like, um, multiverse stories. Because uh, I feel like I'm, like, we're getting nothing but uh, multiverse stories. Anyways. Let's give this a read. A long, after a long period of no acknowledgement of the new multiverse during the Crisis on Infinite Earths, The Flash is finally addressing it. The Flash Season 9 finally addresses Crisis on Infinite Earths, creating a new Arrow First Multiverse. The Flash Season 9 is not only the show's last, but also serves as a swan song for the Arrow First as a whole. Ever since the original Universe Starter series Arrow ended, the Arrow First has seen multiple shows bow out of as they were cancelled by the CW. The Arrow First Network... Oh... Uh, only the Flash final season and Superman Lois, which is no longer, which the Superman Lois show isn't part of the Arrow first, but it likes to like kind of flirt with the Arrow first a bit, like saying we're not part of the Arrow first, but we're gonna make it somewhat confusing. And I think it would be fine if it's just like. Hey, we're on a different Earth. Still being like, not Earth Prime, be on a different Earth, and not really acknowledge, like. I think it can't last without, like, not acknowledging Earth Prime, really. I mean, Stargirl did that, and it's debatably part of the Arrow first. Debatably. So, who knows? Anyways, that's. Superman's a good show, it's just, I, like, it's my, like, main criticism towards that show, and even though I really enjoy the show, is the fact that they make it, like, they claim that they are part of the Arrow first, but again, people like me is somewhat confusing whether that they mean that or not. Like, okay, we're not part of the Arrow first, it's clear that they're on a different Earth. But... I don't know. I went through this spiel multiple times, so I won't like put you guys through it again. So, um, with the Flash being the last remnant of the Arrow first, it's, it's up to the show to bring the universe to a satisfying end. The Arrow first started with Stephen Mills, Oliver Queen coming home after being missing at sea for five years. In those five years, Oliver trained on a remote island and became a world's greatest archer, who's would later on who later take on the mantle of the Green Arrow. Arrow started an entire 
universe of superheroes, with Grant Gustin's The Flash adding a new element of the Arrowverse. The character was able to not only tra transfer timelines, but, but enter the multiverse, which would become a reoccurring theme of the franchise. A new multiverse was created during Crisis on Infinite Earths, and has finally been, ad been addressed in the Flash Season 9 tr trailer, which... I will also link the trailer um, in the description for you guys, so if you guys want to like watch the trailer for more context, you guys can. Um, the Arrow first search of new heroes over the years led to the creation of big annual crossovers events that took place across different shows. The first of the Arrow first crossover that spanned several shows was 2016's Invasion. The event saw the use of Multiverse briefly as the Flash re recruited Supergirl from Earth-38 to, to help fight off the alien invasion by the Dominators. After that, the next crossover, Crosses on Earth-X, would, would bring forth a large-scale multiverse, multiverse adventure of the Aeroforce heroes. Crisis of uh, Crosses on Earth-X Focus on a dark version of the Arrowverse heroes from the Nazi controlled Earth trying to steal Supergirl's heart to save their first son of Carl, Over Overgirl. Question on Earth X was a hit with the audience and critics, that with the fence use of the multiverse being a source of praise. The Arrowverse would then start work on its most ambiguous crossover ever. An adaptation of the one of the DC's most iconic stories, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Airing in December 2019 and Gen uh, December 2019 and January 2020, Crisis on Infinite Earths was um the uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths was a full exploration of the multiverse that Arrowverse fans have been begging for. The crossover event included the not only the Arrowverse heroes, but also characters from DC's past movies and TV series. Among the, among the uh, expansive cast were Tom Mullins, Clark Kent from Smallville, and Brandon Routh's from Superman uh, Returns. Crisis on Infinite Earths dealt with a villainous anti-monitor who wished to reshape reality. The heroes could not stop the anti monitor from destroying the multiverse with uh Pyar Pyria I Pariah I don't know why I had a hard time. But Nash Wells essentially. Um the space uh saving a small sub sect of heroes by sending them into the vanishing point, which exists outside of the space-time continuum. The seven paragons would defeat the anti-monitor with the help of Oliver Queen as a specter, who would create a new multiverse. The Arrowverse new multiverse featured some universe being restored exactly as they were before the crisis, while others were completely new. Earth Prime was created, merging several elements of different Earths together as the Arrowverse main Earth where all shows would take place. And so, then, now we're getting to the part where they're saying, or titled it, the Arrowverse has largely ignored its new multiverse, which I have to agree, for the most, like, it has, because, like, like they said, up until, like, the episode of Scar come out on, like, Towards the end of this month, they haven't really acknowledged a new, the new multiverse. They acknowledge the events of Crisis, just not the new multiverse. So, yeah. Crisis on Infinite Earths ended with audiences getting at its peak of the new multiverse created by Oliver Queen as the Spectre. The montage at the end of the events featured several different Earths in a new Arrowverse multiverse. Each of their own each with their own set of heroes, including were the New Earth 2, the heroes of Stargirl, uh, which Stargirl was a phenomenal show. I think it could have, like, like, 
lasted at least one more season. And but I also enjoyed how they ended it as well. So but I really enjoy Star Girl. And if you guys can watch Star Girl, I recommend that. Cause yeah, it's like a kind of like a teen drama in a way. But it, the story is fairly decent. I think it's definitely worth a watch. At least the first season. It's definitely worth a watch. And if you guys are hooked on the first season, watch the other two seasons. Trust me, it's pretty good. Um, Earth 12 with, with Ryan Ryan, um, Reynolds. Earth 12 with Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern movie. Which I, from what I remember, not a very good movie. Uh, Earth 19 from the Swamp Thing series. Earth 9 with the iconic DC Team Titans. Earth 21 showcasing the unusual heroes from Doom Patrol. Earth 96 with Brandon Routh's uh, flying and around. Uh, Earth 96 with Brandon Routh's Superman. Flying around, recreating Christopher Reeve's scene. And finally, The Arrow vs. Earth Prime, starring the Ace of Heroes. And I gotta say that one, like, one of my, like, outside of, like, not really addressing the multiverse until now, one of my biggest gripes with the Arrowverse is that they set up the uh, Justice League. Right? They're first on the Justice League, but they haven't used the Justice League for anything. And it would have been honestly nice to have seen at least, at least one episode of what happened, like, what would, like, what would have been like, what it would, would it have been like for the Justice League, the Arrowverse Justice League, to, like, do something together uh, since this formation, but we didn't get that. So that, like, the, for, like, formation of the Justice League and not get, being able to see them in action is debatably one of my biggest gripes currently. And keep in mind, keep in mind that uh, I know that the Flash has yet to end, and so they could have the Justice League um, do something together, but at the moment they hadn't, and that's one of my biggest gripes. And that's going to continue to be my one of my biggest gripes until they actually they put the Justice League into use. That makes sense together, you know. Anyways. Even though the Arrow First and Multi First seem to be ready to blossom with exciting crossovers between old and new heroes after the crisis on Earth and Earths, that never did happen. In fact, the new Multi First creating created during Crisis has been largely ignored by the Arrow First. The rest of Earth Prime, even the heroes with knowledge of how things were pre-Crisis, were shown to be unaware of the new Multi First created by Oliver Queen. As far as the Aeroverse heroes are concerned, the Multiverse died during the crisis. The only greater uh, uh, indi indicative of the Multiverse was Superman and Lois being revealed to take place on a, at a different Earth, retconned out of the Aeroverse. Is it though? Because they did say Superman and Lo uh, Lois being revealed to take place on a different Earth. So, like, that's where I'm saying the confusing lies. Like, they're on a different Earth, but are they really out of the Arrowverse? Or is it kind of like Stargirl where, yeah, they're kind of part of the Arrowverse, but the story on, like, the New Earth 2 isn't, like, all too affected by the Earth Prime um, heroes. Outside of, like, Oliver Queen making their universe possible. So is Superman Lois technically like out for the cattle the arrow first or is it really part of the arrow first? Loosely. Just saying, just saying. It is possible that that plans for the arrow first to further explore the new multiverse were dropped due to the challenge is presented by the unexpected COVID-19 pandemic. The real world, real world crisis def 
deeply affected the Arrowverse, with, with plans crossovers between shows having to be canned, and which led to another event of the size of Crisis of the Earth's number coming to life. Earth Prime was created to facilitate crossovers between the Arrowverse heroes, but safety, measure, safety measures for production during the pandemic blocked that. While it has never been explained why the Arrowverse seemingly dropped the new multiverse, the lack of big crossover events could possibly have played the role. So how the Flash Season 9 will finally address the new multiverse. The Flash Season 9 is going to be to end Barry Allen's ninth season journey um, and the Arrowverse. With the help of some important characters from the universe history. Chief among them is the return of Green Arrow. With his best friend duo Oliver Queen and Barry Allen reunited. Uh, the first look at Oliver return in The Flash Season 9, Episode 9. It's my party. And I'll die if I want to join. If I, and I'll die if I want to was not only interesting due to his reunion with Barry, but longtime friend John Diggle, but also because the character finally brought back the new multiverse that was created during Crisis on Infinite Earths. Alpha reveals that he created the new multiverse to replace the one that had been destroyed. While it has not yet been explained by how, explained how Alpha came back, it makes sense for the hero to be the one to let Barry know that the multiverse still exists after all. Oliver's Spectre powers were responsible for the new multiverse. The Flash has been the Flash has had the multiverse play a big role in the series of the years. Something that has not happened since Crisis on the Earth. Green Arrow and the Flash coming together to help save the multiverse from the Return of the villain blood work is huge is a huge win for Flash season nine. And I gotta say, um and this is going to be um a minor spoiler at all somewhat of a spoiler to uh, um the trailer and sense of the next episode. My favorite part of the trailer has to be uh, for the next episode of uh, The Flash was being season, episode 9. It's when Barry like hugging Oliver. And Barry says, Okay, Barry, sound like go. Barry, let go! And it's like hilarious because, um. It's kind of been like, um. We know Oliver Queen's not big of a hugger, and they made a joke of that a few times, which is funny because they made a joke of that. And now, like in I uh, um, the evasion crossover, Barry made Oliver uh, get in the group hug, group hug with him and um, Kara, and Oliver said in the um, Crosses of Earth X that I'm not gonna hug you. I'm not giving you a hug because you made me do it last time. No hugs. And so I like how like they made a playful joke of that in this like what's going to be in episode nine. Kind of as a nod to that. So I I I I, I dig that. I generally dig that. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm happy that the um. Arrowverse is finally addressing the whole multiverse. I feel like, again, they should have addressed that in the last season. Um, the latest, in my opinion, because, I don't know. But, in a way, them bringing, like, opening it up the whole multiverse thing does, like, offer the opportunity for the Arrowverse to continue in some fashion, even though the Flash uh, on the small screen is considered the end. 
of the Air Force for now, but it does grant the opportunity for the Air Force to live on still. While there's in video games, anime shows, whatever, it does grant the opportunity. And they even had a mini anime show with the Fixin' show. So they're not stranger to animation. And I've, um, that Ray show, uh, Earth X's Leonard Snark's husband. I believe that guy had an anime show as well. So, like I said, the Air Force is now strange to, uh, um, anime shows. So, they could, like, bring the Air Force to, uh, um, continue the Air Force in anime shows or video games. So, who knows? Who knows? And I know, like, James Gunn said that, oh, we are going to, like, everything that's not connected to our DCEU is going to be in Elseworld. So, it so, like, shouldn't really be, like, um... Too big of a deal. And I have to say. If they announce. We're going to make. Like if the Arrow first announced. That they're going to make a. a video game. Uh, I are like. A mini Just League show. I will be more excited for that. To be honest. Than the James Gunn lineup. Because like. I remember the James Gunn lineup. And I like. Wasn't that very excited for it, to be honest. I'm not saying in any means that the James Gunn DCU isn't going to be good. I'm just saying that I would be generally more excited for Justice League, Arrow First Justice League miniseries, or a video game, than I would be for James Gunn's DCEU. Based on the... Um, the announcement. But anyways, what do you beautiful people have to say about this article? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind one another. Talk to you fellow minutes later.